<laughs> but um, I so when I moved to St. Louis, uh, you know, be, because I like the sound of my own voice, because I'm an extrovert, uh, because I can be persuasive, I landed in the sales world. Okay, you can, you can respect that probably in Absolutely. your line of work, but. I, um, I, I, you know, I, I started out kind of low level and, and by the time I was 30, I mean, I was selling like litigation support technology to law firms and I was walking into conference rooms with senior partners and IT directors and firm administrators and I'm selling like very, very expensive things. Right. Okay. And I thought I had made it. I thought I was like, this is so cool. And I was going to church regularly, you know, at, at the time, um, things seem to be going super smooth in my life. Right. Mm. Um, and, and, and I just thought I, had I love that word. It seemed like it seemed. seemed, yeah, I'm careful with my words. Yeah. It seemed like it was going smooth and, and, and perhaps it was for that season, but you know, I, 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 I joke around, right. Because God has such a great, uh, well, first of all, he has a providential plan. He's such a wonderful chess player moves, Beyond moves, beyond moves, right? Like right, he sees right. the end game, and all these years I'm learning how to sell things, and I'm learning how to uh, uh, craft an argument, and I'm learning, you know. And I'm not perfect at this. I, there are people better at it than I am, I'm, but you know, this is like part of my my job, right? Is to talk about something and to answer objections about it, answer questions, and 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 so I'm doing this in in my career, and then I'm also I'm having lunches and, and meetings and building relationships with non Christians, and and not, I wasn't like the guy you know standing at the cubicle, like with a bullhorn talking about Jesus, but I always would try to just slip in these little nuggets and drop hints and plant seeds. Mm. And whenever I had the opportunity, if somebody would be like, Hey, you know, you talk about things that you do at church, or you sometimes slip in that, you know, you're a believer, or you'll talk about a Bible passage. Um, you know, I'm curious about that. Right. Uh, you know, sometimes it's positive. Sometimes I just got people that just wanted to argue, but I'm wired that way. So I didn't take that as a threat. I'm like, Hey, cool. Let's, I mean, I like that too. You want to debate? Let's go debate. Let's have lunch, you know? Yeah. And so I'm, I'm doing this in my career, like almost as a hobby. Right. I mean, I had clients, man, that are, are still atheists. <laughs> we're friends on Facebook and like, we're cool. We're buddies. And we still have like debates ongoing that started, you know, back in uh, 2008 or whatever. Oh, that's awesome. It's so cool. And I love it. And I always want to be the guy that doesn't shy away from the truth mm. that doesn't water down what I believe. I mean, I'm a Christian, card carrying Christian. I even believe the weird stuff. Right. Right. And yet like I'm, I'm fine with people that have different points of view. Hey, thanks for uh, watching this short with us today. And if you like it, check out our full episodes on our uh, channel and website. Uh, we'll put those in the links below. And as always, Scott, like and subscribe. Or subscribe and then like. Whatever order you want, really. Whatever order you like. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>